our Indian culture is the best, mm-hmm. but now I don't believe it. Just see the Indian kids and just see the American kids. Huh. I think any other trip I raise my voice. Achha. Yeah, I'm very a short tempered. He understands my anger also. Whenever I get angry, the only good part is. Have you done anything to reduce your uh, short temper? I don't do meditation at all. Uh, and do you do it in public too, like when you have oh, get together or something? Whatever I do in person. When the public is not around, I have a very tough question for you. But uh, oh, I am not a good parent. तुरंत गुस्सा हो जाती है अरे मेरे बेटे या मेरी बच्ची को किसने क्या कहा? हाँ. Never hit on someone. Okay. That is very bad. अच्छा. But if someone hits you, मुझे ये जरूर लगा कि मैं अपनी माँ के पास नहीं रह पा रहा हूँ. Oh, because like he went over in India, the work culture was absolutely not conducive what he has he right. got used to over here. Yes. That decision, if you go back to India for your parents, mm-hmm. it's my decision. I was wrong mm-hmm. or right, uh-huh. whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Hello guys, welcome to this channel, Mahal Creator. In this vlog, I have podcast kiya hai with Mr. Deepak Mishra, who is here in USA from last 12 to 13 years. I have discussed with him about parenting lifestyle in USA. I have discussed with him about the American culture. Or I have asked language barrier ke baare mein bhi poocha. Main thera Marathi, mera mera mother tongue hai Konkani. और बाहर हमारे दोस्तों के साथ मतलब जो भी देसी यूएस में है उनके साथ हम लोग हिंदी बात करते हैं और यूएस में भाई नॉर्मली इंग्लिश बात करना ही है तो मैं कई दफा कंफ्यूज हो जाता हूँ कि भाई मैं मेरे बच्चे को क्या सिखाऊ इंग्लिश सिखाऊ या मराठी सिखाऊ या हिंदी सिखाऊ या कोंकड़ी सिखाऊ मैंने उनको रिटर्न टू इंडिया के बारे में भी पूछा है क्योंकि कई दफा मुझे लगता है की यार जल्दी से जल्दी इंडिया जाना चाहिए जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ माई एल्डरली पेरेंट्स तो ये पॉडकास्ट कम्प्लीट देखना एंजॉय द पॉडकास्ट और आप के पास कुछ कमेंट्स है या कुछ सजेशंस है अबाउट एनी टॉपिक दैट यू हैव डिस्कस मेक श्योर कि आप नीचे कमेंट करो बट फॉर नाउ एंजॉय दिस पॉडकास्ट ट्राई टू गेट एज मच एज इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम दिस पॉडकास्ट वन ऑफ द मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस चैनल इज टू ब्रिंग इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड ब्रिंग नॉलेज टू यू गाइज सो एंजॉय वीडियो अच्छा था बहुत छोटा था बहुत छोटा साइलेंट टोटल अब प्रीति परेशान हो जाती है इतना क्यों बोलते हो Made up or anything, whatever was there, बिल्कुल as it is था और सर जी कैसे हो सही बिल्कुल सही सर आपका इंट्रोडक्शन दे दो लोगों को इंट्रोडक्शन मैं दीपक मिश्रा <laughs> प्रीति का हस्बैंड फर्स्ट लाइक इंट्रोडक्शन एंड मैं कानपुर से हूँ और यहाँ पे 2008 से आया हूँ अच्छा सो मिज आई हैव लिव्ड इन मिजोरी एंड देन ओवर हियर अच्छा या सो हियर आल्सो लाइक थ्री फोर इयर्स इन लिंकन अच्छा रेस्ट ऑफ द टाइम हियर अच्छा और कैसा आज का दिन कैसा रहा आपका आज का दिन लाइक मैं अभी अपने एक अमेरिकन फ्रेंड के साथ सुबह गया था मंदिर अच्छा तो उसको वहाँ मंदिर में उसको पूरी पूरी अच्छी लगती है तो उसके अच्छा। साथ फिर उसके बाद उसको कॉस्को लेके गया था उसको अच्छा कॉस्को से कुछ सामान लेना था एंड ही डेंट हैड अ कॉस्को कार्ड अच्छा तो अच्छा से तो ये जब अमेरिकन आते हैं डू दे आस्क यू क्वेश्चन जैसे कि वॉट वाई दिस वॉट दिस ऑब्वियसली आज क्या क्वेश्चन आए उनसे नो लाइक जैसे जैसे पूरी सब्जी खा रहा था तो उसका क्वेश्चन था इसमें से पूरी कौन सी है दैट वाज क्यूट लाइक है ना सो एंड उनके पर्सपेक्टिव से देखो तो उनको क्या पता कि कौन सी पूरी है कौन सी सब्जी है एग्जैक्टली exactly. uh, yeah. mm-hmm. so, तो उसने कभी ऐसे देखा नहीं पूरी में uh, बहुत ऑयल है नो ही नेवर कंप्लेन्स ऑफ लाइक ही हैज इटन विद मी लाइक चॉइस अच्छा एंड ही लाइक्स एवरीथिंग अच्छा सो पूरी सब्जी एंड ही एट समोसा एंड देन चाय अच्छा सो ही लाइक एवरीथिंग लाइक एवरीथिंग स्पेशली द समोसा एंड द सिनेमन इन साइड सो सिनेमन ओवर ओवर हियर इज यूज ओनली फॉर स्वीट एग्जैक्टली नॉट फॉर द सॉल्टी थिंग सॉल्टी थिंग सो ही वॉज अमेज बाईड बाई दैट और राइट और राइट दीपक जी दो हजार उन्नीस की बात है मैंने यूएस में मेरा पहले पहला घर लिया और हमारे पेरेंट्स मतलब इंडिया से आए थे दे वर वेरी हैप्पी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कि हम लोगों ने घर लिया लेकिन दे वर एक्साइटेड एंड सरप्राइज टू आई टेल यू द रीजन जब आपकी फैमिली आई यू केम विथ आन्या यू केम विथ अंश 
अंश तो ऐसे 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 जा रहा था राइट बिकॉज यू आर लुकिंग फॉर एल्डर्स वो आके मतलब ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स जो थे मतलब मनन के ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स मतलब हमारे मोम एंड डैड सब सब को पे सब छुआ एंड ही वॉज सो उनके साथ बात करके मेरे पेरेंट्स को वो काइंड ऑफ सरप्राइज लगा कि भाई इधर भी ऐसा होता है सो माई क्वेश्चन टू यू इज हाउ डिड यू प्रिजर्व दिस कल्चर जो इंडियन कल्चर है ये प्रिजर्व कैसे किया ये आप मतलब पहले बता के रखते हो घर पे कि देख उधर बड़े रहेंगे तो तुम लोगों को ये सब करना पड़ेगा क्योंकि यूजुअली हम लोगों को ऐसा सिखाया जाता था तो इधर कैसे होता है इधर मतलब देखो कभी भी कुछ होता है तो क्रेडिट एक को नहीं जाता ये पक्की बात है अच्छा ना करने वाले को ना सिर्फ माता पिता को एक क्रेडिट ओवरऑल इन्वायरमेंट को जाता है अच्छा एंड विश मे बी क्रिएटेड बाय पेरेंट्स अच्छा और अदरवाइज जिनसे आप इंटरेक्ट करते हो जिनसे बात करते हो एंड अब अब ऑल द क्रेडिट गोज टू द किड द वन हु इज द डूअर द मैक्सिमम क्रेडिट गोज टू दैट पर्सन ओके है ना क्योंकि सेम इन्वायरमेंट में आप दस बच्चों को रख सकते हो और तो जैसे हमेशा मैं हमेशा मानता हूँ कि जैसे अगर बच्चा पढ़ता है कुछ बनता है तो मैक्सिमम क्रेडिट उस बच्चे का अच्छा कि हाउ ही परसीव द थिंग एंड हाउ ही एक्सट्रैक्ट द गुड थिंग अबाउट एनी थिंग ओके सो इधर जो सी देखो जो बेसिक थिंग थी स्टार्टिंग से जो जब भी हम लोग आए तो हम लोग जब एलिमेंट्री स्कूल के आसपास जब थे देन लाइक वी हैड वेरी लेस सैलरी एंड ऑल दोज थिंग सो हम लोग बिफोर एलिमेंट्री वी नेवर सेंट आर किड टू एनी ऑफ द स्कूल ओवर हियर Okay, just to save on the money, and it was only for few months, like we said. Mm-hmm. And uh, when we went enroll them into elementary, they said like which language and all those things they speak. So we said like most of them like most of the time Hindi. Acha. And like before sending them to school, also like we had this thing. We always used to show them like Preeti, especially Preeti, like Mahabharat, Ramayan, and all the Jataka Kathas and all mm-hmm. those things. So they were. exposed to only those things mm-hmm. and never any like uh, anything uh, beyond that beyond mm-hmm. indian acha okay plus saying this i now i believe that time i be- uh, believe like our indian culture is the best mm-hmm. but now i don't believe it like that acha what i believe is every culture is good acha every culture is good and there are some good very very good points in every culture acha ha ha and the only thing is why indian culture is good it's like a like a 5000 years old mm-hmm. and like so that brings some more culture values to any civilization okay the older the civilization the richer it is okay in content that mm-hmm. is one thing mm-hmm. but why we say like okay well it's good to see the kids in indian culture because we come from india that is the only acha reason for me if a chinese is uh, is bringing his kid over here he would be happy to have the chinese culture in that kid Definitely. and chinese culture is not inferior in any way to indian culture mm-hmm. so that is one biggest factor that i feel whenever we say indian culture i uh, i get happy that he is following the culture from where i come from mm-hmm. but i don't have that feeling that my indian culture is the best one अच्छा अच्छा yeah. like you will find it very odd yes. but yes like i believe certainly i believe most of the cultures are good and every culture has just human values nothing else okay so okay. tell me one good thing about american culture oh they are very honest acha they are very so don't honest. you feel ki we are honest oh absolutely not we are not honest okay so you are not honest okay for me like if you say like i'm uh, like uh, if you're questioning me i'm not honest i believe whatever the <laughs> you see like if i say right now that i feel like among the i'm among the honest ones huh? then uh, you would be saying like making up like things and all those thing but i feel i am among the honest but not as honest as american is Achha. yes Achha. i believe so americans do you feel that all good. the americans are honest or do you feel see, a part of it no 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 Like see, like I feel this question itself is wrong. Acha. Okay. Achha. Because when we say it, then okay. Because the answer will come out is no, no, no. All the Americans are not honest. Uh huh. Most of the Americans are honest. Okay. So then you will find the answer 
okay that means this statement does not hold good okay. like you can infer like or whoever is seeing that mm-hmm. but when i say americans are honest it's always like generally the americans are honest acha acha and the same way if you talk about any characteristic of indian culture mm-hmm. that is also a general one mm-hmm. so that is not in totality okay. this is also not in totality acha mm-hmm. so that's way that's how it is yeah. okay okay so आपने ऑनेस्ट बोला और कुछ है अमेरिकन कल्चर में जो आपको पसंद आता है एंड यू थिंक दैट इज समथिंग विच वी कैन कल्टीवेट ओ या डेफिनेटली व्हाट वी कैन कल्टीवेट इज लाइक यू नो लाइक इफ यू गो टू एनी एयरपोर्ट ओके सो जस्ट सी द इंडियन किड्स एंड जस्ट सी द अमेरिकन किड्स द बेस्ट डिफ्रेंशिएटर यू कैन वॉच ओवर दे सी लाइक फॉर एनी थिंग यू डू इन लाइफ there are pros and cons to it yep yep okay so we pamper our kids a lot ha huh. okay i can pamper my kids a lot like anything huh. and i love to do it but it has its own cons also acha okay so that's what i feel like so uh, like uh, the indian kids they are for like anything they want they raise their voice they are on the ground Mm-hmm. saying they no mama i want to get this mm-hmm. and generally our indian parents find like whatever like our generation we are talking of our generation parents they succumb to it mm-hmm. okay like our kids is wanting it like let's give it mm-hmm. but americans are not like that they are not like that yeah so that is good part mm-hmm. and the best part is the way they will make the kid understand mm-hmm. without raising the voice in a very cool and calm manner mm-hmm. that is awesome mm-hmm. so that is something we should learn from that acha aapne aise kabhi hua hai ki aap kidhar bhi jate ho and you have raised the voice oh i i i raise my voice a lot okay yeah. can you can you share your experience kab hua tha kaise hua with my kid yeah with your kid i think any other trip i raise my voice acha yeah i am very a short tempered person oh is it okay oh i am very short tempered but my short temper is like only for a minute acha and then i would be like sorry sorry kid and all those thing acha but yes like So yes I am a short term okay. person. Last time when I was here uh, you gave me an example uh-huh. ki aapne kuch to ansh ko bola tha uh-huh. about this house. Mhm. Uh-huh. Ki agar main aap agar oh, yeah. unko bolte ho nikal ke jao yeah, yeah. and what he has to reply back. Uh-huh. So can you just tell the public like about this? Oh like uh, yeah actually it's like that uh, I have my own this thing like where I get uh, kind of bad or if I say something bad to my kid. Okay. So and you believe me like i feel that is totally normal okay i consider that as totally normal okay because we all you say you know like if you are living your life 24 by 7 with anyone uh-huh. there are always good moment moments bad moment right, angry right. Uh, like and all those things so yes like uh, sometimes i say okay like and generally it's more about the studying and all those things uh-huh. okay if i'm angry i say like uh, get out of my house and all those things yes and uh, so but like after few times the best part about my kid like when i explain to him see like why i say this is like by because i came from india okay mm-hmm. we all struggle because of that insecurity element Achha. okay mm-hmm. like what we are going to do like once we are like uh, past our college and like where to get the job and mm-hmm. all those thing here nobody thinks even about it like mm-hmm. anyone if someone is wanting to get to a medical college more or less like he or she would be getting into it mm-hmm. but in india it's not the case it's like out of lakhs and lakhs of students like only few get the seats mm-hmm. so so all my responses has the root over there acha yeah mm-hmm. so uh, so like uh, after couple of times i t- uh, told him that and this is the thing and all those thing and the best part is he understands it uh-huh so he understands my anger also whenever i get angry the only good part is like what was like my good part when i was being raised my father was always like very angry like if i'm not studying and all those okay. things but i never had any bad feelings for my father mm. so that was good part and i have seen my cousins who were like they like cousins friends and all those thing for one small incidents they would be 
like pinning that on their parents mm-hmm. and for the rest of their lives they would be saying oh my parent this, this something this bad right right okay which in in their terms it was bad then right right but when they themselves mm. become the parent mm-hmm. they will find it different right 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 but you wasted those many those many years mm-hmm. so i have always say to my kid kid beta like just think of all the perspective and all those thing mm-hmm. and always like uh, whenever i get angry after that i go one to one talk to my son okay and then like just like uh, have a good conversation okay. and now it has come to a point where i don't need even a conversation also i just go to him and hug him that's it and then i say son it's done oh father it's already done it's already done <laughs> so no hard feelings at all okay. okay so i say like this is your house okay so i say always if i say you can say say papa you can go out i am yep. going to live in this house yep, yep. so and now nothing is like it's just very plain and simple get angry mm-hmm. and just like after a while just after 2 minutes mm-hmm. we just hug each other that's it it's over okay that's so nice yeah. so because sir even i am short tempered mm-hmm. i used to be i feel mm-hmm. because what used to happen is i i have uh, i've taken that from my dad mm-hmm. this is what i feel and yeah. even my dad says that he has taken from yeah. his dad yeah. right so we are passing on yeah. and i just want to stop this mm-hmm. right and that's the reason from last years i'm working on it mm-hmm. like it's not like i never get short tempered but the the intensity of it is reduced after some time i understand i realize it and make sure that you know i apologize mm-hmm. with anyone if i'm angry uh, if i'm angry at someone i make sure that i talk to them mm-hmm. that's the best thing which i feel and i tried other ways like you know meditating doing yoga exercise discipline that has worked but at the same time what worked with me is ki realizing it after getting angry yeah. pehle kya hota tha angry hota tha you know i am right yeah yeah abhi kya ho raha hai ki okay anger hota hai and i have that in mind ki i will be shant after some time mm-hmm. and uske baad mujhe pata bhi chalta i need to go back to that person and say sorry mm-hmm. or at least talk or put your point forward mm-hmm. so this is something which i've learned okay so have you done anything to reduce your uh, short temper uh see like for me mm-hmm. uh for all the solutions in the world like for anything bad mm-hmm. or not so good thing i think the solution lies within okay i don't do meditation at all okay i meditation may be a solution okay. it is a solution okay but i see 80 90% of the things can be done by yourself only. exactly so that is my always perfect without and just being in the mainstream not doing anything else see because like suppose if some person is and i'm not against meditation but mm-hmm. so, suppose you are not doing meditation mm-hmm. and just to fix this you start meditation mm-hmm. so you are taking time from something which you have been doing till now yes. and then putting into meditation right so you are uh, in a way over a period of time you can uh, have a balance mm-hmm. but definitely if you keep if you just find the solution for anything and everything and for that solution you start something else mm-hmm. i feel you are disturbing the balance already existing Achha. balance acha okay so either this either going to the temple uh-huh. or having a like what we call as baba or demi god or something yeah i don't believe in anything all this thing. okay i believe just me myself my self realization and that's just normal working on it is the best solution okay yeah mm-hmm. cool cool okay so let me slide into this question uh, which i had in my mind mm-hmm. now that i have a kid mm-hmm. who is 16 months old mm-hmm. can you just tell me like you know at least give me around 3 to 4 tips which can help me in parenting him well parenting. because there are a lot of people indians pakistanis bangladeshi or whoever you know understand hindi and who is watching it yeah. right now even they may have kids yeah so kya क्या आप जरा सा टिप्स दे सकते हो दैट विल हेल्प देम ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लाइक आई फील वंस अगेन लाइक इट वुड मे बी अ साउंड ऑफ रेपिटेशन काइंड ऑफ रेपिटेशन बट जस्ट एवरीथिंग हु एवर इज द पेरेंट जस्ट दिस दिस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दे शुड थिंक दे आर डूइंग द बेस्ट इन देयर कैपेसिटी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ओके ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ओके एंड don't try to find the fault in their own okay first of all everyone love their kid okay mm-hmm. they all are doing their best and that is the best thing that they can do to to their kid 
the only thing is like something learnings here and there they pick up the core structure remains should remain the same okay okay there should not be anything major changes to the core mm-hmm. structure and uh, uh, the thing is one thing is like how much you can spend the time with the kid mm-hmm. that is a very big thing like okay so spending a lot of time with the kid mm-hmm. and uh, like uh, I just uh, one thing is like I feed my kid like since they were small. Oh, is it? And till like till now. Till now, are you doing it? Oh yeah, yeah. And That's I so love nice. to do it. And do you do it in public too? Like when you have oh, get together or something? Whatever I do in person when the public is not around, and whatever I do in public is the same always. Oh, is it? I don't okay. care anything. Okay. Like, uh, for me, like. Did anyone ask you a question about this? Ki kya bacha abhi oh, yeah. bada hai to fir se aap feed karo? Oh, kar a lot of questions. What's your reply to that? I love it. That's it. <laughs> I it's enjoy, so nice. I enjoy it. Okay. So that's it. Okay. So and believe me, if ten percent, ten of the people like men have said like, oh, what's this? This is like you are not making them independent. Okay. Five to five out of ten people, hmm. ten men out of that. Huh. After six months, they were feeding the kid in front of me. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> yeah. So for me, honestly, yes, I'm not making them independent. Hmm. But believe me. when they will go to college or in their life mm-hmm. when they will recollect this incidents mm-hmm. that my father was feeding them uh-huh. they will love it uh-huh. nothing else okay. the only thing is and that love would help them to get into a better person okay yeah so that's it yeah okay and uh, so like uh, and see like like i'm no no one to say the advice or anything like but your learnings yeah yeah so The best thing is like as we do like the iteration in software world, mm-hmm. you do fix and on all those things. Incrementally, so, start yes. learning. So the life is all about iteration. Okay. You do the things. You obs. The main thing is you observe your kid. Mm-hmm. I have two kids. Both the kids are totally different. Okay. So one has to adjust according to his kid. Okay. So okay, what? Uh, okay, suppose if I say something to you, okay, this is the best way. Like, or this worked for my kid, mm-hmm. but. Suppose you would think, okay, this is the good way you apply to your kid. It will not work at all. Okay. Okay. So that is like you just have your eyes open for the other kids, other parents, and all those things, mm-hmm. and try to fit what is best for your kid, which could be totally different what others are doing. Okay. Yeah. So the whole barometer index is your kid's response to whatever you are doing. Okay. Yeah. So that is one thing, and the. second thing is always be uh, like um, there's uh, like yeah more and more like they are being close to our culture versus indian culture mm-hmm. that that helps them mm-hmm. in the long run and never ever uh, like till they are in high school till they live with you mm-hmm. always speak the language which is your native language okay yeah so mm-hmm. which is so for in case you're marathi so like mm-hmm. you speak marathi mm-hmm. so that would always be helpful for them okay okay yeah and uh, even like when they go to school like elementary and all those mm-hmm. things they are well versed in marathi i would say even if they don't know english that is also fine oh is it yeah at okay. elementary stage okay but if they don't know marathi that stage that is wrong that's a wrong okay yeah. so but don't you feel like you know they'll be uh, the language will be gibberish if they're talking marathi at home mm-hmm. and if they go back outside and they are talking in english mm-hmm. so aapko aisa nahi rakhta ki it will be mix and match aur unko samajh mein nahi aayega kya bolu kaise bolu yes at some stage like if okay uh, so i told you the two extremes okay but like obviously you sh- you don't have to go for that extreme okay. knowing uh-huh. only marathi and not english okay obviously the best case scenario is like they know both the languages okay. but what i meant to say in that sentence is like on the you don't need to compromise marathi on english okay 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 yeah. okay that, that is, is what I okay okay if you ever want to compromise before school before elementary compromise on english okay try to get both of them okay but if the need arises compromise on english not on marathi okay that is what okay so if you go out with ansh uh so you talk with him in uh, in your own language like hindi, hindi yes yes kabhi bhi hindi mein and even he replies back to you in hindi yeah i am this is like this credit goes to my wife uh, preeti okay and she always talked in hindi and oh like God. when they were growing up she said i n- i don't know english so can you please say in english in i don't know h- english so can you please say in hindi 
so my kids always knew till a point that till maybe end of elementary school mm-hmm. that their mother don't know english it's fantastic yeah, yeah. So, okay so that was and the see like what i will say the best part the good part about it is like they can talk to your to the elders to the grandparents mm-hmm. in the marathi okay in, in your case so in marathi so that is something you know the amount of love and unfiltered love you get from your grandparents is unique okay and that love is more realizable if you speak the same language okay so that would be very okay. because today like as you know like anya said about nani wearing mm-hmm. the sari caring about nani for uh, for anch also mm-hmm. the biggest love is for nani is it okay yeah. because those are like old people and those those are like more wiser than us mm-hmm. and it's just unfiltered love from them okay so like and they speak a lot okay so whenever they speak not mm-hmm. so frequent but like whenever like he speaks he speaks a lot mm-hmm. so my son my daughter so i always feel that's good fantastic i have a very tough question for you mm-hmm. but uh, do you have any more tips before i ask a tough question to you mm, any more tips okay uh, i would say go easy on yourself okay okay we are not sitting in an examination where you we, you have to be the best parent mm-hmm. okay because believe me your kid is not the best kid okay so go easy on yourself this is one thing mm. okay easy on the sense like kid had its own share of pros and cons okay. you have your own share of con- pros and cons mm-hmm. so uh, try to be a good one but don't try to be the best one because life is full about full about like uh, what i say like is you know i i will tell you why i say and if like you can you guys can relate or don't mm-hmm. i don't know you know our parents or any other, like parents above us they never thought of what to do to be a good parent they actually ne- yeah they never actually. thought this question was never there mm-hmm. they were all natural this is my this these are my kids i love them they don't have to make it clear to the kids that they love them exactly nothing was explicit everything was implicit exactly so i i honestly believe the same way even now like for me <coughs> i get super angry with my kids the ex kid ex parents may not have got ever angry with me acha but i have got many times angry with my son or daughter not much but like with son but I love him like anything and I think he loves me like anything. Acha. So I think the whole process just go and back to generations. Acha. Find all the answers over there. Acha. Not from current generation. Mhm. Because in current generation thousand times we say sorry to our kids. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And so, thank you too. Yeah. Sorry and thank you these are very explicit words. Yes. Does your kid say sorry thousand times? No. Oh, mm-hmm. Today he is not like so much big or something like that. But like when he gets, he will never say sorry to you. Mm-hmm. So you also, even you make a mistake, just hug him, okay, mm-hmm. and say mistakes can be done by anyone. Mm-hmm. And you know mistakes are always a reaction of something from your kid. And so suppose your kid does th- something wrong, and you react in a something. wrong way mm-hmm. so it's not just you were wrong the kid was also wrong mm-hmm. so that's what like never always think that oh i am not a good parent okay i am a parent who is not perfect making all types of mistake okay but at the same time i do make my son realize that he is also making some mistakes acha and never compare your parents with any other parents okay yeah see like as a kid what the kid of this generation do it they compare their parents with other parents oh those parents are cool cool mm-hmm. so the whole meaning of cool is for me like you know i always go with the age old concept is like okay what cool is okay first of all that way if we are going in a comparison mode mm-hmm. then the parent can also compare the other kid with their kid right right and right. that is not a healthy thing mm-hmm. so I always say like I always say like to uh, <coughs> my friend for a lady mm. you can take a panga with any lady but never with a mother mm-hmm. 
द सेम लेडी कैन पार्डन यू फॉर एनी थिंग बट नॉट फॉर हर हर किड ओके राइट सो द सेम वे लाइक आई से टू माई किड बेटा हम सब में इफ यू फाइंड एनी थिंग रॉन्ग ऑन मी और एनी थिंग बैड जस्ट कम एंड टॉक टू मी ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू डोंट कंपेयर योर किड टू द अदर किड they should also not compare you to other kid yep 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 so that is one thing mm-hmm. oh, yeah before i ask you a tough question tell me one thing if I, if it has happened to you any time sometime your kid comes and tell ki papa wo bete wo ladke ne aisa kiya right aise kuch to family friends mein aapke family friends mein hi koi kiya matlab acha aisa kiya ab bura kiya usne mujhe mara aur mujhe peetha usne kuch to mujhe bola okay what is your immediate reaction to it do you understand and listen to the whole thing or what do you ask ओके अगर इसमें लाइक यू नो दीज आर वेरी चैलेंजिंग थिंग्स ओके एंड मोस्ट ऑफ दीज सिनेरियोज आर हैंडल्ड बाय प्रीति इज इट हाँ दे डोंट कम टू यू दे कम टू मी ओके बट लाइक आई हैव अ डिफरेंट टेक माय वाइफ इज अ डिफरेंट टेक आई जस्ट वांट टू हियर योर टेक ओके सो सो देर वाज अ फंक्शन लेट मी गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल देर इज अ फंक्शन और फंक्शन में आपको जो जानते हैं वो सब उधर आते हैं उनके भी बच्चे हैं एंड उनके बीच में कुछ ना कुछ तो होता है एंड दे कम आफ्टर द पार्टी यू आर ड्राइविंग बैक दम टू द होम एंड देन दे आस्क यू दिस क्वेश्चन कि उसने मुझे ऐसा बोला आई डेंट लाइक इट वॉट्स योर टेक ऑन दैट तो मुझे तो ऐसा लगता है एंड कुड बी रॉन्ग एंड इट कुड बी केस टू केस बेसिस बट ओवरऑल ओवरऑल मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि हर माँ तुरंत गुस्सा हो जाती है अरे मेरे बेटे या मेरी बच्ची को किसने क्या कहा हाँ. कार में बैठ के अगर जो तुम सिनेरियो बोल रहे हो हाँ. कार में बैठ के हर मदर हाँ. उस बच्चे हम बाहर की बात नहीं कर रहे हैं हाँ. बाहर सब लोग अलग बोलते हैं हाँ, हाँ. आज की दुनिया में हाँ. ओके हाँ. कार में बैठ के हर मदर उस बच्चे को बड़ा गंदा है अरे मुझे मालूम है वो गंदा है अपना बच्चा सही अपना बच्चा सही है ठीक है लेकिन मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि एटलीस्ट मैं या मतलब मोस्ट ऑफ द बाप जिनसे मैं बात करता हूँ mm-hmm. जैसे ये जो भी है वो शायद ऐसा नहीं करते mm-hmm. वो पहले पूरी बात सुनते हैं mm-hmm. कि अच्छा उसने के वो कहते हैं जैसे मैं जैसे हमेशा कहता था कि मैं कहता था कि मुझे इंटरप्रटेशन मत बताओ जैसे वो कह रहा था कहता है कि वो गुस्सा था एक सिंपल mm-hmm. गुस्सा था तो गुस्सा तुम्हारा इंटरप्रटेशन है mm-hmm. तुम बताओगे कैसे कि ये गुस्सा है हाँ mm-hmm. तो मैं कहता तो मैं उससे वो बारीक चीज पूछता था कि तुम ये क्यों कह रहे हो कि गुस्सा था कई बार आप गुस्सा था ये इतनी बेसिक चीज है कि अगर आप इसको इग्नोर कर दोगे तो इसी में सारा सब कुछ छिपा होता है तो ओके गुस्सा तो तुम्हें कैसा लगा गुस्सा था सो so, मैं कहता हूं फिर तुम शुरू से बताओ एंड सारे फैक्ट बताओ इंटरप्रिटेशन मैं बना लूंगा तो सारे फैक्ट सुनता हूं और मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम में क्या होता है देखो जनरली होता है किसी एक की ही गलती हो सकती हाँ। है वो हो सकता है दूसरे बच्चे की हो सकता है आपकी लेकिन वो आपके अपने दो बच्चे हो तो उनमें भी तो होता है राइट तो मेरे हिसाब से तो मैं ये बताता हूँ देखा अच्छा बच्चा यहाँ पे जो मेरी समझ में आता हाँ। है कि बच्चा अगर जो तूने फैक्ट बोले अगर वो सही है आई ऑलवेज गिव द डिस्कलेमर क्योंकि उसको भी अगर उसने कहीं फैक्ट छुपा लिए हैं तो उसको भी पता है कि उसने छुपाया छुपाया है ओके सो विद दिस दिस थिंग दिस थिंग एंड पैरामीटर तो वो इधर इधर उसका ये तुमने करा वो उसने करा एंड इफ इट इज नॉट वेरी ऑफन फॉर गेट इट बेटा मैं हमेशा यही कहता हूँ द ओनली थिंग इज यू शुड नॉट बी ऑलवेज एट द रिसीविंग एट ओके या सी लाइक माई वाइफ इज लाइक वेरी स्ट्रिक्ट ऑन दिस Never hit on someone. Okay. That is very bad. Acha. But if someone hits you and you take that hit, mm. that is more bad. Acha. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And at the same time, she says, never hit. Like the, you should not be the first one. Okay. To hit someone. Okay. Uh, hit in words or like a physical or anything. Acha. So like it's like that. So she says like that. So like I generally say, and most of the time, you know. the very next moment they are playing together mm-hmm. so most of the time i generally just listen to them and just be away out of it acha yeah. aise and so you agar unki galti nahi hai so you don't call their parents saying that aapne aapke bete ne aisa kiya oh kiya. absolutely not okay oh mm-hmm. see nahi any one incidents acha never calling and i think in the whole this like whatever like 16 years i think there has been only one incidents where we called not the parents but it happened in school so we report and when it happened like multiple times Achha. then we reported it to the principal but like 
बट नेवर एवर अच्छा नेवर कॉलिंग द पेरेंट्स और नेवर टेलिंग द पेरेंट्स बिकॉज किट सॉर्ट आउट बाय दम सेल्फ मोस्ट ऑफ दिन अच्छा अच्छा एब्सोल्यूटली अच्छा ओके सो नाउ आई कम टू द टफ क्वेश्चन योर मॉम इज अलोन इन इंडिया राइट नाउ तो आपको ऐसे कभी लगता नहीं कि या मॉम शुड बी हियर इन यू एस ए दे शुड बी नियर आंश अनान्या क्योंकि हमेशा हमारे साथ क्या होता था जब हम छोटे थे तो फर्स्ट टेन ईयर्स और फर्स्ट सेवन ईयर्स वी यूज टू बी विथ अवर ग्रैंड मदर एंड ग्रैंड फादर सो दैट हम लोग उनका मतलब जो भी कल्चर ये सब अडेप्ट करें राइट जो भी उनके इमोशंस हैं उनके साथ रहे वो कल्चर था पहले में आपको अभी कभी ऐसा नहीं लगा कि आपकी मॉम भी इधर इधर हो एंड शी शुड यू नो जस्ट शेयर द नॉलेज विद योर किड्स अराउंड और टेक केयर ऑफ देम नॉट टेक केयर नहीं बोल सकता हूँ इन अ गुड वे शेयरिंग द विजडम और समथिंग नहीं लगा कभी नहीं लगा अच्छा नहीं लगा कैन यू टेल मी द रीजन मतलब नहीं हाँ वही क्योंकि कभी भी शुरू से ऐसा लगा ही नहीं कि ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स यहाँ के यहाँ पे आके हमेशा के लिए रह सकते हैं अच्छा हाँ तो कभी ऐसा लगा नहीं कभी ऐसा एग्जाम्पल नहीं देखा अच्छा तो कभी मतलब सही में नहीं लगा ये लगा कि हाँ वो यहाँ फ्रीकुंट विजिट कर पाए अच्छा दैट इज द ओनली थाट दैट केम टू मी अच्छा बट लाइक बिकॉज ऑफ कोविड एंड ऑल दोज थिंग अच्छा सो इट हैज बीन डिलेड अच्छा नाउ इन वन ईयर माई सन वुड बी गॉन अच्छा सो यस लाइक या सो यस मुझे ये जरूर लगा कि मैं अपनी माँ के पास नहीं रह पा रहा हूँ अच्छा ओके दैट्स फैंटेस्टिक हाँ लेकिन ये पक्का था कि मतलब मुझे बिल्कुल क्लियर था कि पेरेंट्स को यहाँ ला के मतलब अब मैं देख रहा हूँ बहुत लोग पेरेंट्स का जैसे ग्रीन कार्ड फाइल कर रहे हैं अच्छा but that is a new thing that i am seeing okay. now and uh, so that is a, a good thing like for them but like right. i miss the bus so okay. yeah kyunki ye main hamesha sochta hu ki mere parents jo hai india mein hai bude hai उनको मनन को हमेशा देखना मतलब उन पसंद है बिकॉज वो जो उनमें जो वरी है वो निकल जाता है ऐसे वो तो बोलते हैं बिकॉज वेन दे सी किड्स अराउंड वॉट यू थिंक आई शुड बी डूइंग राइट नाउ मैं तो इधर हूँ आठ साल से राइट right? mm-hmm. अभी एकदम से सडनली इंडिया जाओ उधर जॉब देखो जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ पेरेंट्स ये दरअसल डिफिकल्ट नहीं है इम्पॉसिबल भी नहीं है क्वेश्चन mm-hmm. करता हूँ खुद को mm-hmm. का ऐसे करूँ या न, नहीं करूँ अब देखो तो आपको बेस्ड ऑन योर लर्निंग 2008 में आप आए हो mm-hmm. क्या लगता है आपको मेरे जैसे बहुत लोग रहेंगे इस स्टेट में ये क्वेश्चन में बहुत लोग रहेंगे देखो जैसे मैं अपने लिए बताऊं कि मेरे पेरेंट्स जब वो स्टेज थी छोटे बच्चे एंड ऑल दोज थिंग्स शायद तब तक मेरे पापा की ही जॉब थी एंड देन ही वॉज डूइंग अ लॉट ऑफ अदर वर्क आफ्टर जॉब सो वो जब बच्चे छोटे थे तो तब वो सब नहीं हो सकता था उनका इधर आना बिकॉज दे हैव टू बी देयर अच्छा हम लोगों का घर कानपुर में है तो दे कैन नॉट लीव द हाउस अच्छा तो वो था तुम्हारे लिए लाइक जैसे जैसे लाइक वॉट एवर यू आर सेंग कि आउट ऑफ दिस क्या करना चाहिए नहीं करना चाहिए देखो वन थिंग कुड बी इज टू गेट द पेरेंट्स ओवर हियर जो जैसा पहला क्वेश्चन तुमने बोला कि आके उनका ग्रीन कार्ड यहाँ अप्लाई कर दें वो साथ में रहें बट ऑनेस्टली यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट फोर फोर पीपल देन एग्जैक्टली है ना वो टफ मुझे दिखता है अच्छा मतलब बहुत टफ दिखता है क्योंकि इधर सोशल लाइफ भी नहीं है वो तो है सोशल लाइफ के अलावा सोशल लाइफ नहीं है प्लस मेडिकल बहुत बड़ा खर्चा है एग्जैक्टली एंड एज दे वुड बी ग्रोइंग ओल्ड वो मेडिकल बहुत बड़ा खर्चा होगा अच्छा तो वो एक तो वो दूसरा उनको ऑब्वियसली तुम्हारे घर में यहाँ पसंद आता है लेकिन साथ में उनको वहाँ पे भी अच्छा लगता है जब वहाँ दस बीस लोगों के साथ बैठते हैं एग्जैक्टली सी तुम्हारे साथ जो भी लगाव है वो बेटे की वजह से लगाव है hmm. तुम्हारे बेटे के साथ बेटे का बेटा है इसलिए लगाव है राइट right. राइट right. hmm. लेकिन जैसे एक बंदी को देख लो अगर बंदी किसी बंदी अनजान बंदी से भी मिलेगी क्या मिलते हैं hmm. और ऐसा लगता है जैसे जहाँ मिल गया hmm. तो सेम टाइप ओल्ड एज में भी मतलब लोगों को अपने ओल्ड एज के लोग चाहिए होते हैं mm-hmm. वो नोन टू फेसेस जिनके साथ अनफिल्टर्ड आप बातें करते हो mm-hmm. आप बेटे हो लेकिन बेटा कभी ये भी फैक्ट है कि आप खूब टाइम नहीं स्पेंड करते हो उनके right. साथ राइट right. क्योंकि अपनी जॉब होती है फिर yeah. और कुछ अगर कर रहे हो तो जैसे मेरे पापा मुझे हमेशा कहते थे कि जब भी मेरे पास पुणे आते थे द बेस्ट फॉर्मेट इज लाइक दे स्टेइंग एट वन प्लेस दे कीप कमिंग रेगुलरली बट आफ्टर वन पॉइंट यू 
बिकॉज दे वुड नॉट बी एबल टू कम हियर रेगुलरली तब वो सोचना पड़ेगा अच्छा कि क्या करें नहीं करें अच्छा लेकिन उसके लिए देखो कई बार होता है कि हम उसकी इंतजार में ही बैठे रहते हैं फिर तब तक बस निकल जाती है तो आपको उससे पहले सोचना पड़ेगा तो एक तो वो है एक तो ये है कि आप उनको रेगुलरली बुलाओ आप उधर जाओ रेगुलरली तो वो चीज़ हो सकती है और वो जो आन जाना या ना जाना वो लाइक यू कैन पुश टू लाइक कपल ऑफ मोर इयर्स लेटर अच्छा बट यू हैव टू स्टार्ट प्लानिंग इट लाइक इफ यू एक्टिंग इट एंड बट दे हैव प्रॉस एंड कॉन्स टू इट अच्छा हाँ कि इधर लाने या उधर लाने में बट लाइक क्योंकि कई लोग ये सोचते हैं ना कि सी लाइक विद ऑल द एच वन एंड ऑल दोस्ट हैसल्स अगर कोई बंदा का अभी चले जाते हैं वापस बिकॉज ऑफ पेरेंट्स देन सपोज दे किड इज स्टिल ऑन एच वन बॉर्न इन इंडिया एच वन उन दो सिनारियोज उनके दिमाग में एक आता है कि अच्छा इन केस डाउन द लाइन मेरे बच्चे को आना है तो दे कीप स्टेइंग इट हो गए राइट राइट और वो स्टेइंग पीरियड इतना लंबा हो जाता है कि वट एवर बी द लव फॉर द मदर लैंड और फॉर द पेरेंट आई हैव हार्डली सीन एनी वन गोइंग बैक बिकॉज ऑफ दैट एग्जैक्टली सो I feel like let's be honest mm-hmm. like uh, like n- uh, I have seen only one out of 1000 acha who went and he uh, he was a uh, he was from I think uh, Mumbai acha he went there and within 9 months he was back he is back he sold his out and he went like and he had made up his life ki main main fir se nahi aaunga and because like he went away in india the work culture was absolutely not conducive what he has he right. got used to over here yes and he said okay like i'm coming back that's coming it acha and so yes so uh, like even now preeti is in india and all those thing and uh, she is like enjoying the stay over here but like she is missing now uh, this place too okay yeah so but uh, it's a very you know uh, that decision if you go back to india for your parents mm-hmm. that is very personal decision mm-hmm. and it's a uh, you know uh, i believe just like uh, i didn't go to india i stayed here uh-huh. i'm uh, like you know like given another life i would have wanted a life where i would always be with my parents in india in india okay. ever anywhere okay anywhere, huh? so my parents but there was no one else who made this decision it was me who made the decision to stay in this country mm-hmm. so i don't put put it on any situation or anything else okay it's my decision to stay here. i was wrong mm-hmm. or right uh-huh. whatever it is mm-hmm. so i lose something i gain something okay so that's it so totally my decision my fault my fault no basically i'm taking the onus of my decision okay so just take the onus of whatever way you decide okay if you go back to india see like if you go back to india you there's a lot of pros and cons to anything and everything exactly so j- just stick to the decision that you make looking to the pros side of it okay yeah. cool cool mm-hmm. thank you so much for your time sir thank you It really aapke sath kabhi bhi baat karta hu to aise thons aise open 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 hote hain and you lead me in a very good direction every time mm-hmm. and that's the reason i wanted to come in front of camera and talk to you mm-hmm. yeah. thank, thank you so you. much for your time sir thank you thank you so much <laughs> yeah.